the fireworks of flash photography marked the end of their economic meeting last night. The leaders confident in their consensus for reform and eager to declare their protective measures against global financial instability. It was important, the British Prime Minister said, to strengthen and deepen economic reform. The leaders, he said, remain committed to cooperating and maintaining economic stability. Greater transparency, he said, was needed in the global markets so that traders better understand the risks they are taking. We are also agreed on action to improve cooperation within Europe and with other economies in response to financial crises, in particular that the Financial Stability Forum and the European Union should agree common principles for international financial crisis management, a common analytical framework for the assessment of the systemic implications of a systemic crisis, common practical guidelines for crisis management, including improved information exchange, and closer cooperation between countries with particularly important links at firm or capital level. We are also agreed on the need to reform to ensure that global institutions can meet the challenges of the 21st century. We need a better early warning system for the global economy, and that warning should have the force and authority to ensure that their warnings are acted upon. And so to this end, we are calling on the IMF and F Financial Stability Forum to report at the next IMF meeting on the threat from the global economy from financial sector developments and to consider how to strengthen and clarify the IMF's responsibility to oversee macro-financial stability. These are the issues we have discussed. We've agreed a common understanding of the problems we face, a common course of action to deal with these problems and promote stability and growth in the European economy. We will now engage our G8 partners on all these issues, starting next week with a meeting of G8 finance ministers in Japan. The conclusions are clear that we have to act in two levels. <coughs> the European Union level, there is a call for increased cooperation at European Union level, and I was very happy to receive the support of uh, Prime Minister Gordon Brown for the European Commission to be a member now of the stability, Financial Stability Forum, for instance. So an important support for um, the European Union level, but not only the European Union. We have to act together at the global level, namely with international financial institutions, namely with the other uh, G8 uh, members. And that was exactly what was highlighted now at the, the last words of uh, Prime Minister Brown. What I think the finance ministers will discuss in the next few days is, first of all, the need for a trade deal so that we do not retreat into protectionism, and secondly, that action is taken as soon as possible to improve the transparency in some of the activities of our financial institutions. Uh, off-balance sheet activities disclosed, credit rating agencies in a position to give more independent valuations of risks, and at the same time, we want the prompt and full disclosure of the write-offs uh, that are now to take place and as soon as possible. I think these are the immediate things that people are expecting to be done. The joint communique from these leaders also call for a better early warning system to identify global economic difficulties and a way to ensure prompt action is taken to remedy problems.